<laughs> this is the decent espresso machine. This is the decent scale. First thing is, what are you gonna get? Okay. If you take, if you take an espresso machine for a, in a scale, you're mm. gonna get two things. Okay. The more exciting thing is, is that when your coffee's pouring, mm. it's gonna stop at the right weight. Okay. Okay. And there are only two super expensive companies. It's like $16,000 espresso mm. machines that have that yeah. and the decent. So Amazing. it's a really nice feature that the espresso will stop always at the right weight. Yeah. The other thing which only the decent currently has yeah. is it shows you how fast coffee is going into the cup. First of all, let's just pair this with this. Right. Now, because it's Bluetooth, you know, because everyone here has used Bluetooth. Yeah. <clears throat> Bluetooth is completely reliable and ever has any problems and works instantly. <laughs> so this is gonna work perfectly. I can smell sarcasm. I'm gonna hold the <laughs> O button down. I have now turned this on. Okay. All right. And the blue light is right, blinking. So it's looking for Bluetooth. And now I'm gonna go to settings, app, and I'm tap on search, and it's now searching. Okay. So it, it obviously detects espresso, those are separate, espresso and scale. That's right. right. And it says decent scale there. Right. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna tap on decent scale. I'm gonna tap okay. This went to zero, zero. Does that mean it's paired already? Yeah, it is paired. Huh. And the first time you do that, the app is gonna exit because it's now paired to the espresso machine and the tablet rather, and... So, okay, jokes aside, you yes. did joke about how the Bluetooth takes a long time, but this one connected <laughs> instantly. Yeah, it, it happens. Sometimes Bluetooth so is reliable. So this is just luck, okay. <laughs> Not because the scale is amazing, <laughs> just, okay. Okay, and you know, as if to, to jinx it, yeah. uh, it did not pair automatically when oh, there I you go. restarted. Okay, <laughs> so I'm turning the scale off, I am tapping on wait, yeah. and it says wait, 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 and now it worked right away. That, that's okay. pretty cool, actually. So I expected it to take longer. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, real demo. Yeah. I paired it, I relaunched the app, it didn't connect right away, power yeah. cycle the scale, worked fine. So yeah. now we're good. And as I tap on this, you can see, uh, yeah. so it's like a that mic line? tap. That's a mic tap. Uh, testing, okay. testing, one, two, three. Yeah. Right. Okay. How many of you guys do that? Sound check. Yes, it's sound check. Okay. Exactly. Okay. That's pretty cool. So that's what I'm doing there. And obviously, it's also I, the response is instant. It's a super fast scale because it's yeah. meant to track change. Okay. okay. And we're going to see that because nothing really exciting is happening right now because mm. we're not actually making coffee. Right. So let's make coffee. If you bring a camera over the side here, you'll see that we made this scale so it is the right width to fit on this drip tray. Yeah. This is a scale that will happily take two cups without some fancy attachment. And then you can just tear it after that. Yeah, you can tear it and it'll pour, if I had a double styled porter filter, yeah. into two. Okay. Sweet. That is why it is that shape. Yeah. Um, that's weight, that's time. I need a scale to weigh my beans. Uh, yeah. I might as well do that here. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna hit there. Okay, I've now teared. Nice. Okay. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna show you how to switch out of ounces into grams. Yes. I'm gonna turn off the scale and I am going to hold down these two buttons and now I am in a sensible Did measurement system. Did it show system. G? Is it, that what I saw? Okay. Like grams? I mean, I read it as a G, so maybe he was onto something. You are smarter than I am. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> All, right, All right, so we have paired, and we are now in grams, which yes. is a much more sensible uh, yes. unit of measure. So Paul, what do I want? 16 grams? There you go. 16.5, okay? You get an Very idea good. of how fast the scale is. Yeah. It's nice and precise. Black grinder. Yes. Okay. All right. Mic so tap, we're still connected. Still working. Yes. All good. So before you do that, yeah, how do you decide the weight? Yep. Like how does it stop? All of that. So I hit limits here, and I have stop it weight Ooh. off. Okay. okay. And I can stop it at I don't know. I think 32 grams. Who who decide? Like who? Wh what are you? What is this decision? So a based really on? common thing is twice as much coffee as coffee grounds. Got it. Okay. okay. So if you really want to be exact, 33 grams. Okay. Okay. Um, and it can stop at water volume or at weight. But since we have a scale, I'm gonna yeah. basically yeah. turn off the water volume and do that. Is that okay. better than, can you give it more than one metric to stop? You can, but um, basically you stop at water volume if you don't have a scale. Right, okay. okay. If you have a scale, it's gonna try and yeah. stop like two seconds before the shot stops. Yeah. so that the dripping that happens sure, that is accounted is for. Okay, let's okay. see what happens Paul here. Paul seems to have done a really nice job calibrating the, the grind. So yeah. this is making a pretty. Um, another thing that's here is that you got 2.5, 2.6 grams, and about four grams of dripping yeah. seems to be perfect. 
Okay, so there we are at 3.2 grams or so. Uh, what does the timer tell us? So the timer is just telling us how long the shot is, is running oh, for. Oh, thanks, John. I know how a timer works. Right. So, <laughs> so it's on the screen here and there. That's all that's going there. Okay. Okay. So that was a 36 second shot. And by some miracle of technology, the screen also thinks it was 30 second, 36 seconds. Wow. Okay. Uh, we wanted 33 grams in the cup. We got 33.9. So that is slight pretty, overage. Pretty good. That is very good. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's what this is kind of cool about is that mm. this is telling us blue is water going into the coffee cup, mm. coffee puck. Yeah. Brown is coffee. Yeah. Okay. Blue, clean water, brown, dirty water. Okay. And what happens here, and you can see, is blue water goes in and yeah. there's a delay before brown water comes right, out. Right, yeah. Okay. And what we're looking for, and we're happy did happen, is that as the blue water went up, the blue and the brown stayed at mm. the same speed. Okay. Okay. And the reason that's important is that at the very beginning here, we're doing what's called pre-infusion. We're putting water into the coffee yeah. puck. Yeah. Okay. Pre-infusion is supposed to saturate all the coffee. Sure. So that you now make coffee that comes out. Yeah. However, a lot of people make pre-infusion too fast. Mm. And if you do that, what you'll see with the scale mm. is you'll see water coming in, but not water coming out. Okay. It's like you have a dry sponge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you start putting water in that sponge and that nothing sponge is still really dry and yeah. nothing comes out. Yeah. Okay. And so the goal to make properly pre-infused coffee that comes yeah. out is for these two lines at the end of the shot to yeah. be at the same rate. To look like this. Basically. That's right. But if you saw a delay and you would see this, if you made the Italian espresso mm. recipe that does no pre-infusion, yeah. you would see this brown line take a while to reach uh, the blue line. I see. Right. And so what is happening is that coffee's coming out of parts of the coffee puck, mm. but other parts are still getting wet. Yeah. So you have what's called an uneven extraction. Some okay. parts are being extracted, some yeah. people are not. Yeah. And uh, so that's one of the big things the scale does is it lets us see whether our pre-infusion was successful. Yeah. Now this is a really long pre-infusion and we're working on this recipe. So yeah. we're, we're pretty sure it does work. I would ask you about best practice, but I feel like we're gonna open a whole other can of Yeah, but I'll show you one other thing, right? Which is if I zoom in here, this dotted line is showing me the current shot weight. Okay. Okay, and that's from and, the information the, from the scale? Also from the scale. And okay. the thing about this recipe and also the blooming recipe mm. is there's some dripping during the beginning. And one of the things we know about the best flavor mm. is for medium roast, we want about four grams of dripping and for uh, light roast, we want about 10 grams of dripping. And here we can go in here and take a look and we are about three grams yeah. here. Right, three yeah. out of the top of the screen. Yes, yes. When the pressure rose. So afterwards, you can look at it, taste it. Yeah. And if we were too finely ground, this number would be really low. If yeah. it were too coarsely ground, it'd be really so high. So obviously, the machine tries to compensate or try to fix. So it can't do anything mm. about the grind. Yeah. So the grind is what determines how much dripping you have. Yeah. So okay. when people then buy this machine mm. and then say, my shot didn't taste good, mm. one of the things we ask them to do is run the shot with a scale, mm. send us a photograph of this, yeah. and now we know a lot about the shot, right? Yeah. We know if there, was, if there was dripping, how much dripping, how fine the grind was, how quickly it sped up, right? Yeah. Um, for example, another thing that happened here is we didn't lose much pressure, even mm. though the flow was constant. So remotely tech supporting you and your mm. coffee um, is so much easier when I have more data. Yeah. Okay. So that's so the decent If someone is struggling, basically, mm -hmm. you can send us a picture of this. Yes. With the information here, here, and then we can just figure it out. Basically. All we need is the screen. Exactly. Right. The scale is talking to the screen. Yeah. And, and we it. have the same information that's up right. here. Um, also super cool is you can save every shot to the cloud. Visualizer.coffee is a website that has them all and people share these shots all over the, all over the place. Ooh, that's pretty and, exciting. Um, it is really cool. Yeah. And so when you have, when you think you reach like a favorable recipe, you're yes. like, hey, look that's at right. this. You should try to match that. Exactly. Okay. And, uh, or more likely, why does my coffee taste bad? Right. And then they show it and other people, a pine, grind yeah. finer, run coarser, pour more coffee and buy better coffee. Yeah. Bye.